I'm going to be taking you through five steps today to declutter and organize your linen closet. The first step is to take everything out of your closet. I don't always do this. Sometimes I do it shelf by shelf, but this time I want to do a new organizing system in here because obviously this one isn't working. So I'm going to be taking everything out of here and declutter. I'm going to be going through each and every item and deciding if it's something that I want to keep or something I want to get rid of. Decluttering your closet is going to make the biggest difference by far. It's really hard to organize when you have too much stuff. I realize that everyone has different things that they keep in their linen closet. What I have here is just the items that make sense to me. I also don't keep extra towels in our linen closet. I only keep two extra towels for the master bathroom and I just keep those under the sink. The other two bathrooms, there's four hooks in each bathroom and I just keep all four towels on the hooks there. I only have one extra hand towel for each bathroom and they are underneath the sinks in the bathrooms. I also have some medicine in our master bathroom that I have been wanting to try to move to this closet. So I'm going to see if that will be something that works. I'm not sure we're gonna like it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try it. So I'm gonna kind of talk you through my decluttering process and what goes through my head when I declutter here. I just bought this first aid kit. I probably need to have this go in my car actually. So I'm gonna stick this in a pile of things that I need to just put away when I'm done here. I bought this hand sanitizer during the pandemic. How long ago was it now? Three and a half years ago? We haven't used it. Honestly, I'm not a hand sanitizer person. Is that bad? I'm not, I just use soap and water whenever I can. So I'm just gonna toss these. We don't, we don't use them. This is kind of where I've tried to keep band-aids. This obviously has not worked very well. I am gonna try some new systems for band-aids on how to organize those. I'm just gonna take all the band-aids out here real quick, just kind of stuff them into a box, and then I will be organizing those later. Let me explain to you what I like to do with my sheets. And I have too many in here right now, but I like to keep one sheet set per bed. I usually just take them off and wash them and put them back on in the same day. But I do like to have one extra pair of sheets per floor of the house, per size of bed, if that makes sense. So my boys' bedrooms are right here. There are twin beds in each room. And so that means I would just keep one extra twin, one extra, <laughs> one extra set of sheets that I can kind of rotate back and forth. Let's go through this real quick and see what we have. I want to explain something really quick here. I do also have a closet down in the basement, which we keep some of the sheets for the two twin beds that we have downstairs as well. I haven't gone through those, but the same thing applies downstairs. I want to just keep one pair of extra sheets for the two beds downstairs. Yeah, this is the sheet set that goes to our bed, our extra pair of sheets. So this is the one I'm going to keep. I like to have some extra mattress pad covers as well. Don't really need these anymore. These were kind of for when they were wedding beds way back when. So I think it's time to get rid of those. This is the kind that is <laughs> really noisy. So again, this was when they were wedding beds and I don't need it. I'm gonna throw that one away. This one can go. This was supposed to go on my son's bed. He didn't care for it. And we decided to get something else. I'm just gonna go send this one to the donation center. It's basically brand new. It hardly even got used. Oh, you know what? This is perfect. I think it was for Christmas. My mother-in-law bought, these are similar to Betty's, but they're the sheet set. They don't come with the cover on them. So the top sheet zips down and the zipper just broke on my youngest. That's broken too. Darn it. Never mind. This is a queen. We don't have a queen. I don't need that. This is probably a queen as well. Why am I keeping the top sheet when I don't have the fitted sheet with it? Those are just gonna go. I think this is the one pair of sheets I'm going to keep for my boys' bedrooms. And I'm gonna keep these two mattress covers as well. Let's see, do I have more? Oh, I have more. Butter. Forgot about these. I was thinking, I know I have more than that. Here would be a good idea. If I could actually organize these into sizes. I'm pretty sure this is a twin. Oh, this is for a king. Ha! Huh. <gasps> I forgot that I did buy a cheaper king bedding set because I couldn't find the ones that I like for our bed. They're like brand new though. And they're actually really soft. I'm gonna think about these for just a minute. Let's 
look through all these pillowcases. There's way too many in here. This went to our bedding, but I don't use these. This is kind of a tricky one because I could keep them if I decided to change the decorative pillows and put this one on, but I really don't think I'm going to. But they've been sitting in here for years. I haven't even known that they were there. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I think it's much easier. Just get rid of them. Oh, this is to a bedding set that we don't even have anymore. Another pillow sham, lots going. I kind of like to have a few extra pillowcases per pillow in our house, but this one is kind of dingy and gross. That's gonna go. This one is brand new and it goes to our bedding set. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Another pillowcase, ooh, this one's old. It doesn't really, it just smells dingy. So that one's going in the garbage. Ooh, actually I think this might go on my son's bed that he uses right now. Let me look, actually nope. I forgot that those sheets ripped, so we don't need that pillowcase anymore. Well, hold on. Let me think about that <laughs> for a minute. Okay, this is another... This one... <laughs> I'm sniffing it. <laughs> I think this one might be okay. Let's think about that. Let's look through the other ones first. See what we have here? This one's really soft. This one looks pretty new, so I might keep that one. This one looks a little yellow and old. And there's a stain that's gonna go oh and this went on a pillowcase to a way old sheet set that one's gone so that's garbage so i have one for two two king sets for our bed which i might keep i have to think about that so let's set that aside and then i have one twin sheet set these two mattress pads and one extra pillowcase I kind of wish that I had one more extra twin pillowcase. So I might go back through that pile and pick one out that looks the cleanest. All right, done with that. Did your kids or anybody you know ever get molluscum? I had a child that did. It was miserable. He had it for like a year and it was really, really hard to get rid of. I have no idea if this helped or not, but that was something we put on to try and get rid of it. But man, he was, that was years ago. That was probably eight years ago. I'm gonna throw that out. Have you guys ever had lice? <laughs> we went through lice. My two girls went through lice and that was fun. Not really. So this one expired in 2017. This whole kit is just garbage, but I am going to keep these knit combs. That was the only way you could get rid of lice. At least that was the only way that I could find that we could get rid of lice. So I'm going to keep those as well. Okay, this is sunscreens and bug repellent. I know a lot of this is probably either half empty or almost empty or way expired. This one looks way old. Oh, <laughs> it's not. That one's still good, it's full. Pretty sure these are pretty old. Yeah, 2018. I think this is the same and it's almost empty. Okay, I don't even know how old this is. There's some sunscreen in it for traveling and I could empty it out and I could keep this little dispensing travel tube. I don't wanna take the time and I don't wanna clean it out. And these are pretty cheap at Walmart. I think they're like 50 cents or a dollar or something. And I already have a bunch of other ones. In fact, there's one right here. And this one I think has more current sunscreen in it. So I'm gonna keep this one, toss this one. Okay, this is pretty gross. I wanna organize these a different way. So I'm gonna set that aside. Goggles, which we don't really even use anymore. These are way back when, oh boy, do I keep these? I mean, they could come in handy. Ooh, the plastic is sticky and gross. And we haven't used these in years. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna toss those. So many goggles. Some of these are brand new, so I might keep a couple pair. Those are brand new. These are old. Those are brand new. These are old. Those are old. And I don't think anybody likes wearing these, so I'm gonna throw those. So I'm just gonna keep these two. I don't need a whole container for two goggles, so I'm just gonna set these and probably put them with the sunscreen. Are you enjoying this video? I really hope you are. I hope it's motivating you. And if it is, I would love it if you would give it a like. I keep my light bulbs in this closet as well. And I know there's some in here I don't really like. Gotta go through these. That's gonna be fun. And I have no idea what this goes to. Anybody? What does this go to? I have no idea. It looks important. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away though, cause I don't know. 
I think it's been sitting in there for a long time. This is for like your oven. I'm gonna keep that. So I don't want the ones that are not LED anymore. This is a flickering light bulb that we use on Halloween. That's kind of fun. Oh, this is the black light that we used on Halloween. It's full, fully covered in dust. I don't need that one. I'll toss it. Last thing I'm gonna go through are these beach towels or pool towels, whatever you wanna call them. We have six people in our family, so I'm going to only keep six towels. And I'm gonna just pick out the ones that we like the best or the ones that are in the best shape. So there's one. <laughs> these are not all in the best shape, but these are bigger ones. We like the bigger ones. So two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna donate that one. All right, we have two humidifiers here. I know this one we use a lot. This one is an older one that we really haven't used much. I know we probably don't need to, so I am going to donate that one. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, I would love it if you would subscribe. I make videos like this every week. I focus on decluttering and organizing, so if you enjoy this stuff, please subscribe. All right, you can see I got a nice big bag of garbage and a huge pile to take to the donation center. I feel like that is quite a bit of stuff that came out of that small closet. Step number two is to sort everything into piles. You want like with like items. It was really pretty easy for me to sort my piles because I did that as I was decluttering. Step number three is going to be prepping our shelves. Now this could be as simple as just wiping them down and getting them ready to put everything back in. It could be if you're really feeling ambitious and you really have wanted to paint it, now would be a good time to paint it. Or if you needed to add shelves, that kind of stuff, this is a good time to prep. A really good way to add extra storage in here without having to build your own shelves is to repurpose some shelving. So I am going to be doing that here a little bit later to show you that there are a lot of different ways to use up all of the space. If you have a bucket that goes to here, you have all this wasted space. Oh, almost. Stacked like that. Step number four is to create zones or categories. Now, when you do this, you wanna make sure that right in the middle where you can reach are going to be the items that you use the most. Anything that you only use once in a while, they can be up really high, they can be down really low. So I'm going to find a way to make everything fit right here on these, probably these two shelves. Those are the easiest to get to. This one is okay to get to, but I'm still pretty short. Trying to get to the back here is a little bit harder. Step number five is to contain the items and label them. Now before I went to Target and Walmart to kind of see what I could find, to make everything look nice and contain it. I wanted to try something new. No, you don't have to. You can repurpose anything that you already have. That's what I did before. I just kind of want to make it a little more functional and look a little bit nicer this time. I measured every single shelf and found what could fit. So like this one can fit here. It actually fits perfect up on this shelf. That might be a little bit better. And then I bought a bunch of these big weave baskets. So I actually already have a couple of these. So before I went to the store, I brought them in here and I stuck two here and they fit perfect. So I really like how this is. There's really not much wasted space up here, as you can see. I'm really excited to get going on this. So let's get all the items contained in here. I have gone through every single item in this closet so far. I took all the band-aids and I'm going to organize those and sort those here pretty soon. Got all the band-aids into these. I love these little containers. I use them in my office for um, cords. So I think I need to buy more of these because I stole these out of my office. I'll link them down below if you want them, but they are, I just love these. Now maybe I'll label on top of each of these. I wasn't able to fit these gauze pads, the tape or the creams. So I gotta find something else for that. Okay, here is my dilemma. I want this to be the first aid station I might put the medicines in here, actually. I really like these here, because you can stack two, and so you have two separate bins, whereas this one, it seems like everything would just get thrown in there, and I don't really love that idea. But this would fit in here, and would not fit in here. And if I lay them down, 
they spill all over. So I don't know if I want to do that. So I think I'm going to try putting all the first aid stuff in here. Well, once I have the band-aids organized, actually it won't be that bad. For now, I'm just going to leave these in the box. Tapes and the creams. I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. <laughs> We'll see if I like that or if I decide to change it up. All right, to save some space, I've got these two pillows. I am going to use this vacuum seal bag. I just got this pack on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if you are interested in them. I'm pretty sure that these are reusable. So when we use the pillow, we can take all the air out and re-vacuum seal it, which I actually hear it's a good idea to let them air out once in a while. We're gonna go ahead and get these pillows deflated. This is really satisfying. Let's hope this fits. Maybe I should have tried folding it in half. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video and have felt motivated. If you need some more motivation on your closets, check out this video where I declutter my clothes. I think you'll really enjoy it. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.